Hey what's up guys, Gilton here and I'm back on Minecraft and we are back on the Hive server. Now this Christmas Hive have put together a really cool, one of my favourite games of all time. I played it on TF2, I played it on Counter Strike and now it's on Minecraft and I'm really happy. They've put together Death Run, look at that. This is one of my favourite custom games and I'm so happy that Hive have put this on the server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys, oh my silverfish is glitching out. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get to this and how to play. Uh, I'm also going to show you a few games that I did and hopefully you guys will come and join me. So anyway, let's go back to spawn and this, will where you, this is where you will spawn when you first log into the server. This is the main hub. Uh, it's a Christmas theme right now as they launch Death Run um, as a Christmas present. So there's two ways of getting to the um, Death Run um lobbies i guess you could call them you could either just go past the massive santa and it's right there you could just follow the path and the redstone uh pressure plates will actually take you there or you can right click on your compass and just click this handy little uh lava bucket and it'll take you straight to the um where the lobbies are if you have never played the hive server before it's a really cool server and i highly recommend for you to check it out and what I've done is, um, what they've done, sorry, is they've added so many uh, like lobbies that you can go on to because it's so popular. As you can see, this server is down at the moment, but uh, you can vote. So, there we go. So let's try and find a lobby and let's get in. Hey, how's it going, guys? We are in the actual uh, lobby of Death Run now, and I'm going to run you through the instructions of the game, how it runs, how it goes. Um, your roles that you can be and a few little uh, techniques you can use to win the game So basically there is two roles in this game. You have the runner and the person who activates the traps Let's just call them the trappy for example Now what the runner has to do is get from the start to finish without getting in the traps Now if you die within the trap you do have lives which is really cool because sometimes you like uh, You forget to sprint or you have a bit of lag uh, so you have a certain amount of lives and each time you get to a checkpoint you get more lives. So that kind of encourages you to get through um, the course faster. Now if you become third, second or third to finish the race you actually get a gem. Now a gem can be disenchanted into um, like uh, I think it's credits if you will. Now what I have here I am actually the trapee. So the person who activates the traps. Now the person who activates the trap has speed three forever for for just this game and you have to press the buttons to activate the traps and you have to kind of time when people are going to do traps so it takes a bit of skill personally i prefer um i prefer being a runner because it's more fast and active but it's a load of fun so um i'm going to show you guys a few um clip -its and a few like a few games that i did while playing this is an awesome mini game i'm loving it so much and i hope to get this christmas out for you guys for christmas because that would be great anyway here's a few clips hey guys this is death run and i'm going to tell you how to play because it's really cool so basically there is one aisle which has a load of traps and there's a runner and a, I guess, a trap person. And basically, as a runner, you need to run down this aisle and not get done by the traps, which are um, actually uh, activated by the, the trappers, I guess. Uh, basically, there's a long aisle and you have to get down. I'll quickly do one run while I'm talking now and I'll show you a few other clips of me playing later. But basically... Uh, there's traps and you have to avoid the traps or very cleverly get over. Down your hotbar down here you actually get strafe, I believe it is. And you can stray back, stray left and stray right. Which is really handy getting over traps because you can do little techniques, little uh, little clever things. And there's all there's different maps and the hive are constantly on it and we're updating it, making sure it's not bugging anymore. So here we go, uh, puddles of lava. And I'm just going to wait here for, wait for these guys. I believe, oh, there we go. So I've died, and when you die, you actually have a certain amount of uh, lives. So let's just get over here, shall we? And basically, there's different levels, there's different maps, and it's really cool. You get abilities, so redstone actually gives you a speed, which is really nice. And an emerald block gives you jump boost. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stray right, and it's going to give me a little boost. And here we go, we're coming up to emerald blocks, we've given me a jump boost up. And this is a little bit of parkour here. 
but I'm not going to go over because they're going to activate those plates. And now I'm going to jump. Oh, damn. So anyway, this is a really fast and active um, game. I've really enjoyed it playing Counter-Strike and TF2. Um, I highly recommend playing it. It's good for like credits on the server. Uh, I shouldn't really say that. But it is really good. You get credits. And if you become first, second or third, I believe you actually... Ooh, wow. I believe you do actually get a gem which you can disenchant into um, nice prizes. Uh, you also get ranks as well. So right now I'm turtle because I haven't played a lot. Um, but when you get to rabbit rank, which is super fast, you actually get a banner on your head. And you, there is other ways of getting the banners. But getting rabbit um, is the most popular. So, Oh, I jumped it. Oh, that guy tried to get me. And I think she's going to try and get me as well. There we go. And I will be taking the floor back. Thank you very much. The puddles aren't acid in this one. But let's just... Woo! That was close. Okay, I don't know how long this video is. And I'm going to try and get this video out before Christmas. Uh, oh. Oh! Oh, what a save! Alright, and jump over the cobwebs. Oh, God. Can I become second? Is there anyone above me? People are jumping down. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. So let's see if I can come second. Some guy was in first. But here we go. Oh no! Where'd I go? Oh, I'm all way back here. Anyway, I want to get this video out just after Christmas or just before. Because um, this was a surprise for Hive to do this. And it's really nice of them. Because it's a really nice present. This custom game is so fast paced and everything. And I really enjoy playing it. There you go, that is the end of the game. You can just see how fast it is. Uh, the winners are up here. Obviously, I didn't finish, but I will post a few uh, little clips of uh, games I played over the last few days, just before Christmas. And anyway, I will. Uh, I hope you guys have a good Christmas, get everything you want. Uh, I will try and get this out before Christmas, but if not, I will see you in the new year. Bye! Okay guys, that was my Hive video on Death Run. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I hope you now know all the tricks and all the skills behind the game. And I hope to see you on the Hive server. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like and sub. And if you want me to do more of these videos, uh, maybe of the Hive mini games, I am completely fine doing that. And if you want to see me do some um, Death Run, just runs, maybe like short format videos of me running, or just just small little videos like once a week uh just give me a comment down below because i think that'd be really cool i might do it anyway but yeah if you want to see more of this type of video just give me a comment down below thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye